So let's use Edison to loop record. You need to select the mixer track that's receiving the external audio input. In my case I have a Roland sound module hooked up to my line ins. The quickest method is to launch Edison in audio logger mode. To do that, you simply press Shift and E on your keyboard. Done. Edison's all set to record. Let's just note the settings that Edison has started with. The sync is selected. This means that Edison will start and stop in sync with FL Studio's transport controls. Record on play is selected. And the duration is set for a five minute maximum. And the record button is selected. So we're ready to go. I'd like to just loop record a selection of the playlist, which I've just done. And we're ready to start. So let's loop record into Edison. Done. Select the first take, pressing Control left click, and start FL Studio playing. Now, a cool feature is you can audition takes using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So just jump forward to the next one. Okay, and the next one. Okay, I think I like the last one. Before we send that to the playlist, open the sample properties and give your recording a name. Well, let's call it Great Piano. If you want the tempo of the project to be saved with the WAV file, just select Tempo Sync. That means that the recording will stretch as you change the tempo in FL Studio. To send the selected take to the playlist, it's very simple. Just press Shift plus C. And there we are. Great piano from Edison to the playlist. I'll just deselect Sync so that we don't play Edison. And here we go. Enjoy loop recording in Edison. 